Hello. Today we are going to be demonstrating the DocuSign workflow activities for LaserFiche workflow. To start, we are going to log in to DocuSign. Here, we just logged in to the DocuSign website where we can see and manage our templates. In this section, we can see the templates that we have set up in DocuSign. The template that we're going to be using for this demonstration is Form W4. To get into it, we just need to double click and the template will open. Within the DocuSign template, you can see that there are fields that we can assign the document from the tags in the left pane. For our example, we'll be using the first name, last name, social security number, and signature. Now, let's take a look at the workflow designer. Here, we have a sample workflow created to demonstrate a very simple business process. The first activity in the workflow is the gather info activity. This is where we get a recipient email address, which could be pulled from fill data or a database. The next activity is the request DocuSign signature activity. This activity receives recipient data dynamically. To configure, we need to enter the DocuSign credentials to authenticate. Click Validate. Next, we select a template that was previously configured in DocuSign. As you can see, when we click on it, they're dynamically populated, pulling the recipient data from the template. You can click on the recipient to edit the email address as well, which will pull dynamically or from static text as we are here. This portion of the workflow waits for the document to be signed and re-imported by the DocuSign Connect listener and retrieve the signed document. The next activity is the Retrieve DocuSign Envelope XML. This will download the envelope XML for all signed documents, where we'll retrieve data from the document. As you can see in the right pane, there are credentials which need to be validated along with the envelope ID. Next, we have the Read XML activity. With this, it creates the tokens from the XML that gets returned from DocuSign. This includes all of the information from the envelope and includes all the fields that were populated when the signer was signing the form, such as first name, last name, and social security number. And last, we have the assign field values. This assigns a template and field data to a LaserFiche entry, such as the first name, last name, and social security number. Now after going through all of the activities in the workflow designer canvas, let's go run this workflow and see what it does. After running the workflow, I just got a notification that a document needs to be signed. I will click review and it will open up right in the browser. Next, when the website loads, click continue and we'll fill in the name, last name, social security number, and sign the document and click finish. The last step in the process, we will go into LaserFiche, where we can see the document that was signed populated in our repository. As you can see, the Form W4 is there, and we can look at the metadata that was applied. There's the first name, last name, and the social security number.